Hey everyone, it's Declan from Central YMCA in London. I hope you're doing well on this beautiful uh, Bank Holiday Monday. Um, it is going to be a strength training sort of um, session today. So I've done quite a lot of these technique workshops. Some of you may have noticed them on the uh, playlist channel. And what I thought today is I'm going to incorporate some of those um, workouts into or some of those exercises into the actual session today. So we're going to do some squats some lunges, some abduction. Um, <clears throat> ideally, just make sure you've got plenty of space around you. Bottle of water to keep yourself hydrated. Loose fitting clothing, obviously. Um, uh, if you've got hand weights at home, hand weights, I'm going to use two water bottles. Uh, you don't have to use weights. You can just use your body weight. That's absolutely fine. Any movement is good. So check on those things. Make sure you've got some comfortable shoes on to support and let's get going. So first things first, we're going to get the body warmed up. For this, you can have some music playing in the background if you like or not. A um, couple of seconds here. Think about drawing the navel in towards the spine. Spine is nice and lengthened. Chest is lifted, shoulders relaxed. Let's just start with the march on the spot. So again, I can't see into your living areas. So just be conscious of the space around you. Just start to get a sense of strength around the abdomen. Make sure you've got a nice, gentle flow of breath coming through. So try not to hold your breath during the session. Just focus on your own breath, but don't hold it. Otherwise it creates tension in the body. All right, we're going to start to pick up the pace now a little bit. So we're going to take it into just a side tap with an arm reach up to the side. Nice and easy, just getting the outer thighs loosened up. Gentle side tap, point your toes. Arms can reach side. And then from here, just come back to the march. Shoulder roll here a few times if you like. A couple of times forward, a couple of times back. Just get some movement around that area. It helps with your neck. You can look to the side, 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 and side, just to get the neck. Shake up your hands. Move your fingers. Move your wrists. Get some energy going in that body. Lovely. Back to the side tap. A little bit bigger this time. You can reach the arms to the side. And again, if there's too much with the arms, just do a side tap, hands on hips. So you can always modify as you need to. Just getting the outer thighs to work. Excellent. In three, two, and one. From here, tap your heel down. Heel dig. Get the ankles moving. Chest is lifted. And we're going to add in a bicep curl. Heel dig. Elbows into the side. And we are just getting some movement going here. And breathe for three, two, and one. Lovely work. Shake it out again. Back to the march on the spot. Start lifting the knees a little higher. If you've got space around you, walking forward, walking back. Otherwise, just stay in the same spot. You can always go into a little bit of a semi run just to get the heart rate up a little bit. We start with the arms. It's about four steps forward, four steps back. Two more. Last one. Side tap here. So you tap to the side. Back to the side taps again. Arms reach side. Now you can stay with this move or you can take it into a step touch. So your step touch is just tapping it back here. Still working the outer thighs. Good, lovely. Arms pushing forwards and back into chest press. Option two, hands on your hips. Again, you can always modify. So however you're feeling on the day, you do that. You can keep the arms pushing forward or you can reach overhead. Reaching up, just getting some movement through the shoulders. Three, two, and one. Back to the march. Now from here, we're going to take the hands to the hips. Hamstring curl. Getting your knees to move a little here. Just gently taking the heel in towards your bottom. Body weight shifting side to side. 
You can add upright rows. Elbows lead. As you do that, that is optional. Bit of coordination there as well. Keep going. Three, two, one. Lovely work. Shake it out. Now from here, you're going to do a knee raise, step back. Knee raise, step back, alternating those knees. So with the knee raise, working your hip flexor, lower abdominals. Good. Woo. Nice. Keep it going. Arms moving. Draw the abdominals in. Two more. Last one. Watch it out. Nice work. Shake out those hands again. Roll out the shoulders. Take the legs out. Soften your knees. Chest up. Rotate round center. Rotate round center. Just get the spine moving a little bit here. Keep the hips square facing forward. Let your eye line follow. Keep those abs tight. Last three. Good work, everyone. Two. And one. Shake out those legs. Lovely. All right, let's hope we're doing a little warmer. Just in case we're not, let's just do a little bit of a march forward again. You can jog. Again, you can stick the walk on the spot or you can take it up whoop, into a little bit of a jog. Light on the feet. Two more. Last one. Hold it here and march it out. Fantastic. Right, we're going to go into the strength training bit now. Shake out your hips a little bit here. Just roll them around. Feels nice sometimes. So from the side, you're just kind of loosening up, bending the knees, change direction a few times, just to get some movement in that spine. It's always good to do that. Right. Picking up your weights, or not. Remember the option is just to use your body weight, or water bottles, or cans, whatever you have. Goodness. Yeah, working your lower back, glutes, core muscles, and we're going to add in upright rows. From the side, bend your knees, hinge down, and lift up. So it is a deadlift. You can see how my knees are bent. My lower back is flat. Look forward here as well. Keep the shoulders soft. Keep the weights in the heels. Squeeze your bottom as you come up, so you are activating your glutes. Lovely work. Good. Now I'm going to add in your deadlifts, your upright rows, your deadlifts, your upright rows, elbows lead. So we're adding in upper back shoulders working here now, just keeping that pace nice and steady. Good. Lovely. We've got about three more here. One more. Lovely work. Shake it out. Hold on to the weights. Just jiggle out a little bit. Roll out the shoulders. Right. Spread into your next exercise. We're going to do frontal raise, lateral raise. Before that, hands to your uh, uh, weights to your chest. Half raise. Come up onto your heels, onto your toes rather. So heels lift off the floor, just working the lower part of your leg muscles. Exhale up. Just getting those areas nice and strong. Good for balance as well. So coming up, suck your belly in, and we're going to hold on tiptoe for three, for two, and for one. Lower down. Let's shake it out. Lateral frontal, combining both, soft knees, lift, and then lateral. So it's frontal, lateral, good. Straight up, in line with the shoulders here. There's a slight lean forward, but you're not throwing the weights up. You've got good control, almost hold for a second at the top and then lower down slowly. So from the side, keep that pace. Good work. Two 
two more, please. Lovely. And release. Brilliant. Place the weights down. Shake it out. A little bit of cardio now. So from the side, bend your knees. Suck your belly in. Hands to the chest. Tap your right leg back. Start off slow. And then you can start to pick up your pace a little bit. Pick it up. Strong exhale. If, it make, if it's making you feel dizzy, just go for a gentle breath. Tap, feel that in the glute, the buttock. Three, two. Out from here, back to the other leg. Nice and easy. Just tap it back. Keep the abs in. Good for working the buttocks. One more, one, and release. Nice work. Check out the legs a little bit. Fantastic. Staying on the legs now. Yeah, we've got them working up a little bit. Now we've done the deadlift, the upright rows. We're going to do lunges. Okay. If lunges are not in your practice today, you've got the option of doing some squats. So everyone have a go at the squats. Imagine a chair behind you. You're going to sit back down, and you're going to come up. We're going to sit down into the chair and you're gonna come up. So from the side, your squat is like that. So you can do a couple of practice shots with me if you like. Just making sure the lower back is lengthening away. Coming up. Good, keep it going. Squeeze your glutes at the top, activate your buttocks, keep it going. Last one, good. Now, the option is to keep doing those if you like, otherwise, Short set of lunges. Now with lunges, it's balance. So if you need to hang on to a wall or a chair, please do. Get into position. Doesn't matter which leg you start with in front or at the back, make sure you know which one is which because you're gonna obviously swap over. Back heel off the floor, people, off the floor. Yep, make sure you have got a wide gap between your legs. Chest up, suck the belly in, lower down, Lift. There is no leaning forward on the upper body here. So downward movement, upward movement. Down, up, down, up. One hand on a wall. I have mine against the glass. Put a balance. Three, good work. Two, lovely. One, step it in. Turn around. Other leg, please. Find your position. If you've been doing squats, have a short break. Shake out your legs, please. We engage abs, chest up, down, up, and down, up. You can see how that movement is down, lift. You're pushing up through the front leg. You may feel it in the back calf, glutes, hamstrings, chest up. Two more. Last one. Shake out the legs. Woo, a bit of a burn there. All good. Have some water, please, if you need some water. Quick water break. All right. So we're going to do wood chopper now, working the obliques, getting some rotation to the upper body. This is one in one of my previous workout sessions, but it's always good to come back to it to remind you. So, wood chopper, hold on to one weight. If you have a ball, you could hold on to a ball as well. Uh, so you choose, or just use your body weight. Soft knees. Tuck the belly in. You're going to reach up. Bend your knees. You're going to tap it down. You're going to reach up. You're going to bend the knees. Tap it down. Soft move. Good. Lovely. Reach. Tap. Reach. Tap. Reach, tap, reach, tap. Two more on this side. Reach, tap, and one more, tap. Change to the other side, please. Quick short break, shake out your hips. From here, reach, tap down. 
reach it up, bend the knees as you tap down. Watch your pace here, don't overdo it. Quite cardiovascular, heart rate seems to grow fairly quick here. Reach up, tap down. Reach it up, tap it down, one more, good. Check out those legs. Have a little water break if you need one. Get ready now for standing side crunch. One arm up. So we're gonna do left or right up to you. We're gonna bring arm down to meet knee. Now again, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can hold on to a wall for balance. Slight lean over to the side. Good. Squeeze, working those obliques. Lovely, two more. One more. Swap to the other side, please. Reach up. Three, two, and one. Have a break, nice work. So we're working through muscles that run through the side of your abdominal area. A little bit on the hip flexors as well, yeah? All right, bit of cardio now, let's wake it up. Tap backs, tap your leg back, alternate them down. Reach the arms forward. Woo. You can add a little bit of a tap, reach the arms. If the arms reach forward is too much, Hands on hips and just tap your leg back. Otherwise, reach the arms forward and breathe. Breathe. Good work. You can add that little bit of a hop. You can reach the arms overhead if you're feeling strong. Remember, you've got the option to keep the hands on your hips. Nice work. Go four, three, two, and one. Nice work. March it out. Shake out those hands, loosen up your neck a little bit. Do whatever you need to do now, just to make yourself feel a bit, ooh, feeling a bit looser now, which is kind of what I want you to feel by the end of the workout. So we've added wood chopper in, we've added lunges in. We're gonna work the outer thigh now, yeah? So again, a bit of balance here. If balance is not feeling great, just hold on to a chair. So, fist up. Now, have a look at my feet. Heel down, toes lift. We're gonna go out to the side. Nice and easy. There's no leaning over on the upper body here, yeah? It's just literally the side and the leg that's moving. The upper body is not moving here at all. The supporting leg needs to be rock solid, yeah? So no kind of bending the knee here. Just contract your thigh, front of your thigh, Squeeze your bum in. Lovely. Get ready to hold it. Balance. Hold. If you're holding on to something, let go. Breathe for three, two, one. Nice work. Shake it out. Now I'm going to demonstrate from the back now. So, other leg, obviously. Stand tall. Pissed up. Spine is lengthened. Suck your belly button in. Re engage. Heel down. Out. And in. This is a really good exercise for your abductor muscles, the muscles on the outer part of the thigh, because it gets you to strengthen them. If you do a lot of walking or cycling or gardening, it's a good one to keep these muscles nice and strong. Exhale out. Right, get ready for balance. Hold it out for three, two, one. Release. Good. So just be mindful of that. Any hip issues, maybe you've had a hip replacement, uh, anything like that, the option there, just so you know, is just to tap the leg out. You know, you can keep the foot on the floor and just tap it out gently. So if you have any hip issues and you find lifting the foot off the floor is too much, side tap, and then obviously, you know, just very gentle movements is fine as well. Yeah, because you're still gonna work that outer thigh. Even a couple of inches is good. 
uh, as long as it's safe and effective for you. Obviously, if you're still having physiotherapy for a hip issue, I would advise you to wait until you are cleared to exercise. Check it out. Check out the legs. Fantastic. All right, we're almost there. This is going to be a short workout now, but it's basically incorporating all the technique stuff that I've done, or as much of it as I possibly could do. So we're going to, got the legs working pretty hard now. Back to the upper body. We're going to work upper back shoulders, our rows. Hold on to the weights again. Feet parallel. Bend the knees. Look forward. Yeah. Now bring the weights forward. Bring the hands forward if you're not using weights. Pull back. Pull back. So you are meeting. Shoulder blades meet at the top. This is a really good one to do to get you to open up around the shoulder area. Just keep looking forward. Try not to look down. It's a narrow row we're doing. This is in one of the technique videos. The elbows just come slightly away from the body. Lovely. Keep it nice and strong. Good. Now from here, we're going to change this to high row. So palms face in, look up. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. You can see now how my elbows are coming slightly above my shoulders. Let's do an added challenge now. Single arm. Lower, other arm. So just challenging the less dominant side of the body here. And again, it's optional. You don't have to do it, but it's always there as an added challenge. Now, the option with your rows, check out the hips before we go into the second set, is you can have a split stance. One leg forward, one leg back. Slight lean forward, and we can pull back. So if that's good for your balance, that's absolutely fine to do it like that. Yep. One leg forward, one leg back, low rows to start. And then again, when we go to high, you can swap the legs perhaps and just have that split stance. It's almost like a semi lunge position you've got. Good, lovely. Three more, chin drop slightly, two more, and one more. Shake out those legs, fantastic. So again, rows. Oh, in that technique workshop videos, they're short, they're around five to six minutes long. If there are any exercises that you're unsure of, go back, have a look. Technique workshops for my face, you'll see them. I will send the links out again in my next newsletter. Shake out your hands, please. Just do a couple of arm movements here, just to loosen up a little more if you feel up to it. Sometimes it just feels good. You're feeling a little stiff, a little tight and then release. Excellent, shake out the legs. All right, we're gonna go into our final cool down stretch now. So this is just a really short, sharp workout. Uh, you can do perhaps late morning, mid afternoon, late evening, if you just feel you wanna do something but don't wanna to spend too long. Kind of work the whole body, legs, shoulders, a little bit on the chest as well with our frontal raises. Check out the legs, march it out. Final stretch coming up. Before we do that, one final challenge for you, balance. If your balance isn't great, take a few seconds, find a wall or a stable base you can hold on to. Stand still, re-engage your abdominals, suck the belly in, just lift your leg up. Now as you do, suck in, lift out the hips, supporting leg rock solid, squeeze your bum, look up and just breathe. Don't look around, look at a still point ahead of you. If you fall out, smile, get back in. It's not the end of the world. Balance may feel challenging on one day, easy on another day, that's the fun of it. So just go with where you can today. Holding it for three, for two, and for one. Shake up the leg. We're gonna do the other side now. Re-engage, focus forward, breathe, lift up, balance. Now the supporting leg needs to be like a tree trunk. So it means that your thigh is tight, your glute is tight, and you are lifting. The aim is to have your hips in line. The leg that's lifted off the floor can be a few inches off the floor, it can be higher, you choose. If you fall out, smile, get back in. Absolutely fine, all good. Holding it for three, breathing it for two, and for one. Shake it out, nice work. Shake out the legs a little bit. 
All right, let's take it into a gentle side step here, just to loosen everything up. We're going to do a little bit of a stretch out now. It's always good to do a stretch at the end of any type of workout. So just shake out those hands, shake out those legs. Woo! All right, from here, take the arm back a couple of times. You can bend the elbow here and then change direction, bring it forward. Almost like your swimming crawl in a swimming pool. Repeat on the other arm, take it back like you were doing backstroke. Just getting that range of mobility change, bring it forward. Good, nice. Interlock your fingers, just round them. Bend your knees now, just do a little bit of a cradle movement here just to loosen up the shoulders. Turn the palms up, turn the palms down. You turn the palms up, you turn the palms down. Getting your wrists and your forearms to have a little bit of a stretch. Good. And then from here, shake out your hips. Coming into your hamstring stretch, back of your leg. Bring one leg forward. Bend your knee. Hinge forward from your hip. Front leg is straight, knee at the back bends. Look forward. And just hold that. Feel that through the back of the leg. So from the front, that's your position. Chest is lifted. Eye line is forward. And you breathe. Easing out. Swap to the other leg, please. Bring the other leg forward. Sink your hips back. Look forward. Breathe into it. Chest up. Lift your toes off the floor if you like, or you can keep the foot flat, so it's kind of up to you. And then release, shake out the legs. Upper body, just bring the arms forward, and then gently open them out. Just a few times here, just to get some movement back around the upper back shoulders. And then on the next one, hold the arms forward, interlock your fingers. And just round the upper back, a couple of deep breaths in and out. From here, release your arms, shake out your hips, place them into your jeans pockets. Look forward. If you're feeling confident, you can interlock your fingers and just draw them away and breathe. So again, you've got the choice. And then gently release. If it feels good, do that movement. Standing on one leg now, so hold on to anything you need to for balance. If you have a knee or a hip issue, listen to the modifications, please. Option one is just to bend the knee, stay here. Chest up, eye line forward. If you can, take hold around the back of the shoe, draw your heel in. Or you can hold on to the ankle and lift. But keep the eye line forward, chest is lifted, there is no bouncing on the supporting knee. If you fall out, just try again. You try. And then release that leg down. This time around, I'll demo from the side. So your options are here, lift. Option two, back of shoe or sock or pants, heel in. Option three, hold on to the ankle, lift. Opening up the front of your thigh. And then gently release that leg down. Excellent. Gentle rotation here, side to side, just loosening up a little bit. And then when you are ready, stand nice and tall. Re-engage abdominals. Inhale up. Exhale. And again, two deep breaths in. Exhale out. And release. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. So that was a new short 30-minute session, just focusing on some of those new moves that we did in the technique workshops. So as I said before, do have a look in the playlist area um, for the very short technique workshop-based sessions. Um, comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Any feedback is always welcome. 
and I will keep shooting the videos um, over the next couple of weeks, but hopefully see you all back at the club very soon. Stay well, take care, and have a lovely bank holiday Monday, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye.